Welcome back to my channel, Retro Geek 1987, and today I am making this video about Japanese pop singer, female pop singer Namie Amuro. So, I saw on a uh, the Daily Mail website that she just, the singer just went completely. She just completely vanished. All her social media accounts have deactivated, and no one can find none of her songs on any music streaming service. So. I became familiar with Nami Amuro um, back in the early the late 90s. I used to watch a sh Japanese variety show called Hey 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 Music Champ. It was a really, really popular show. It's no longer on anymore, but that, that show has been on for, for years. So I became familiar with her th through watching that show. The show was about, uh, there's two hosts, two, two male hosts. They would have um, artists come on, they would ask some questions, and then they would, sell, they would um, have them perform their songs or the single the hit single um but i never understood what they were talking about because at the time i didn't understand japanese so that's how i became familiar with nami amuro through watching hey 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 music channel and i thought she was she was so pretty she um always she always stood out from the other uh female artists because she had her own style she had these really really thin eyebrows and um, she used to wear these short skirts and these high knee high boots. It it was just completely. It was, I forgot what they call it. It's a term that they use in J Japan to talk about um, to refer to that style, her style of um, dressing and and um, her style of music. But a lot of girls at that time and probably still do in Japan used to emulate um, her style of wearing. I just I wish I knew the name, but yes. So her biggest single was "Can You" or "Can Things." Can we celebrate? But she, before she be, before um she went solo, she was with a group called Super Monkeys, really popular group in the '90s. So she's been around for a, a pretty long time. She retired in 2017, I believe. So yeah, she just went. I'm just making this video because a lot of people are concerned that are um Japanese fans of music and particularly Nami Amuro fans. She just went completely. Um, she just vanished. Like. Did something happen to her? So if there's any updates about um, her and maybe some people just, I'm not even gonna speculate. That's, I shouldn't even speculate, but yes. So if there's, there is an update, I'll make another video updating everyone. But yes, if wherever she is, hope she's okay. So that's my video. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you folks next time, bye.